Hola, soy Andreu. Yo yo estudié uh, yo, yo estudio español en mi en mi casa. Uh, Quiero uh, 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 yo quiero aprender a uh, uh, um, I completely forgot the word for because um, and I don't know how to say it. uh think I don't know like I think like, like thought processes but uh But I want to learn Spanish because I think the uh, uh, the language is beautiful, very beautiful, and the culture is very beautiful and meaningful to me. Um, I grew up in Arizona uh, for the, for most of my formative years, and some of the, my 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 fondest memories are of learning um, uh, learning about Day of the Dead in in art class because it was the only class that taught us for some reason in art class we learned about day of the dead and we had we went on so many field trips and this oh i remember her name oh her name mrs eccles that's crazy i haven't even i never like just it just i know ne it never occurred to me to think about this person until just now and the fact that i still remember her name that's crazy my brother's being loud um but basically, I guess like so for me, my my desire to my my desire to learn Spanish started because of Day of the Dead, specifically because um, growing up, I fell in love with with um, Mexican culture because of Day of the Dead, and then I don't know much about Mexican culture except for Day of the Dead, and then just small things that. Um, my friend whose mother is is uh, from Mexico she was raised in the States but she was born in Mexico and she visited frequently um, I learned small things from her I, I learned most of what, what most of the things that I cook I learned from her um, because I lived with her for a while while I was trying to like I was depressed for a minute and I lived with them while I was coming out of that depression So I grew up in Arizona, and and just then there's the just the amount of uh, of the population in 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 uh, the valley where I live, <coughs> which is that is just it's a it's mainly Spanish speaking, or it's prime. It, there's a lot. I mean, there's a lot of okay. It's probably not mainly Spanish speaking, but like like. I can go anywhere within like um within a block from me and find like a local sp uh, uh, a Mexican business, and I think that's fucking dope. Um, and just I guess falling in love with with the culture and and having so much of it just around me at all times kind of slowly like I've wanted to learn Spanish for years. Um, but I never got around to it. It was just uh, I was always waiting for high school, because in high school you got to learn different languages, and then in high school I never actually ended up getting into the language classes, because of it, it doesn't matter. I'll talk about my schooling at some later point probably. But basically, um, I I never ended up going into any classes. Uh, the first time I started um, learning anything aside from like the initial stuff that I learned in first grade I actually didn't learn any Spanish in Arizona I learned Spanish when I uh, went because I, I went to first or uh, kindergarten and first grade in uh, Minnesota and we learned how to count to 10 in Spanish and we learned hola adios como estas uh, uno dos tres cuatro cinco seis siete ocho nueve diez and then uh, once doce trece catorce quince So I guess I learned 15, but I don't know how to, I don't know 16 yet. That's still something that I have not learned since 
Once I learn 16, I will have officially leveled up from when I was 6. But all the stuff that I learned when I was 6, I still remember, which I find to be incredibly crazy. I keep looking at myself, but then I need to, like, look... Do I look here? Whatever. We're going to try this out, and when I watch it... No, see, it just feels weird now. Um, <laughs> the, I don't know. I, I'm just... I'm kind of really excited about learning. I'm, I'm 24 now, and that's the thing. It's like, when I should have been learning language was like 10 years ago. And I mean, it's... But I'm glad that I'm learning now, because maybe had I tried learning like that way, in, in, in a way that just wouldn't have worked for me, maybe I wouldn't have understood anything. And I started using Duolingo because a YouTuber I watch, Evan Edinger, learned German through two years of Duolingo. And now from more of the, lear like, Duolingo is a free uh, learning um, resource that is fantastic if you want to, like, really, like, build your, your, your grammar and stuff. Everything that I've learned about grammar, I've gotten from Duolingo uh, in Spanish. Um, I don't know what conjugating verbs is. I'm sure I'll learn about it eventually, but I'm not too worried about it. I just want to be able to talk to people who speak Spanish and then also be able to um, write in Spanish. But I think for, for Spanish especially, Spanish is going to be the easiest to translate from, from to, uh, like, if I don't know the word but I hear it, I'll be able to, like, know how it's written. It's, it's one of those langu languages where it's like every sound that you're hearing, there aren't many ways that that sound can be created. So you have very limited options, which makes it easy. Whereas like if you're really like wanting to fuck with someone, like give them all the con, like give them the basic like context for like how sounds are made and then tell them to spell fish. And then tell them to t uh, to spell uh, uh, enough fish and enough, cause that'll fuck you up. Or, or or ooh, have Chicago fish and enough all three of those words and have them try to spell that out. And I'm sure if you gave me the same words like in Spanish, I'd be well pescado. I know, I uh, see, I, uh, well, but either way, like, that, those all have similar sounds, Chicago and fish, and then enough and fish, the F and the GH make a similar sound, like, I fucking feel so bad for people who are learning English, but learning, learning, um, Spanish is, as long as I'm doing it correctly, and I, I just got a free trial of this app, Pimsleur, that was suggested by a YouTuber, Ikena, uh, Ikena Obi. He uh, is a polyglot who speaks six languages. He is currently learning Spanish. It seems like there's a lot of people that are learning Spanish right now, and I feel very like privileged to be a part of it. And the, uh, the, the YouTuber who initially uh, turned me on to um, Duolingo, uh, Evan Edinger, is also learning Spanish now. Um, so I'm really excited, and I think Evan probably has, like, figured out how to, like, maximize the, the most knowledge you can get from Duolingo, because he seems to have a better comprehension of the language, um, a better comprehension of the language than I do, but I don't know, maybe he might have done the language in high school, I, I don't know, it doesn't matter, um, this isn't a competition, we're all trying to get to the same place. It doesn't matter the time, um, the time frame. I think for me the biggest issue that I'm trying to not get too in my head about is this this YouTuber Lao Shu, uh, uh, five hundred five thousand. Uh, it's five zero five zero zero zero. He he, um, he is a, a a polyglot that knows. <laughs> at least 30 languages. In, in, I, in the videos I've seen, he's, he's spoken, conversational, and at least, like, enough to, like,
to kind of like introduce himself and like say like that yeah I, I learned these languages and I guess I guess that kind of helps because he does have like a base <coughs> kind of script to follow um, for certain languages but that helps it helps you get a, a baseline um, and I think that that's a that's something that I'm going to try to take with me into the future of learning languages um, I think for my first like until I have five languages under my belt, so uh, five including English, so it's going to be English, Spanish, and then three others. Um, I think it's definitely going to be, French will be one of them, because French and Spanish are apparently the same thing. <laughs> uh, French, Norwegian, and... See, I don't know if I'll do French next. Apparently my mom's got like... PTSD from a French teacher, and she's like, please learn French, like, not next, so I, she told me not to learn French after Spanish, um, because I was getting, I w it was before I had decided to start using other apps, I was getting really burnt out uh, on Spanish on Duolingo, I'm on like a 23 day streak right now, but around day 18, I was like, this is ridiculous, this cannot be the only way that, like, it's so repetitive, and he just, it was destroying my mind. Um, but then fortunately on day 21, and that's how I'm marking pretty much everything, is based on what day it was in um, my Duolingo streak. <laughs> and I finally turned my Duolingo um, goal down to like the minimum goal so that I just can go on there. And I know that I'm going to do more than just the minimum Duolingo a day. I know that I'm going to. I'm going to at least do my flashcards in, um, uh, shit. It's a, it's a, 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 fuck. Oh, wait, hold on. I have literally my phone right here. But it's this app called Anki. Oh, excuse me. This app called Anki. It's got, here, I'll actually show you. So, I created this deck. Oh, you hold! I can bust that down, right? Does that work? Oh, it actually kind of does. Maybe brighten it up just a tad. Wow, even that like was too bright. Holy shit! <laughs> Whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, that doesn't need to be that bright. But basically, uh, after I do, I did, well, while I was working, um, cause, okay, so I did the Pimsleur app, but then, like, I thought I was getting a seven-day free trial, but I guess there was only, like, one free lesson, and then you had to pay, but I knew, I know that it kind of was like, yeah, you can get a seven-day trial, and I was like, fuck, I'm gonna get that shit, so I created a new account. <coughs> Whatever. However, um... I did the free lesson. I'm going to do the, the not free lesson later, or the, the one, the lesson that I, from the free seven day trial. Um, there's a bunch of them. Like I have all access to all of them and I'm going to pay. I just needed the trial right now because I don't get paid until like tomorrow or the next day. Um, but basically I just wrote down all of the different words I was learning and what they meant. And then I created a, um, a deck of flashcards based on those things and I'm going to continue to add to them. Um, and then I even created just like flashcards for individual words and then for phrases that were created using the words. And I'm going to try to keep doing that as I learn more and hopefully add them in. Um, I'm going to try not to get them uh, mixed up or like have like repeating ones. But I'm going to just do this and then when I go through and like I've become successfully fluent in, in Spanish, then I can share this deck and be like, here. Here's this deck, but I'm, I'm going to go through and do it, so, uh, uh, shit. It says, uh, do you understand? So I, I make sure that I have it in English first, so that I'm, I'm going from recalling, like, the Spanish word, not going from Spanish trying to learn English, because I don't, I think I, I can't remember where I heard it from, but it's more beneficial to, to work for the Spanish, so that it's actually forming a, um, a lasting memory with that language instead of just reforming a connection to uh, English or something or other. But anyways, uh, do you understand is uh, entiende? Entiende with uh, uh, the question mark inflection, uh, 
so entiende? Uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that's good. I just want that to come around a little bit more often. Uh, Miss is señorita, señorita, easy. Yes, see, sí. easy. Boom. Uh, you are. Uh, ustedes, ustedes, good. English, English. Easy. Uh, and that's the other thing. When the word comes through, based on how easy it is for you, you have an option after you flip it to mark whether it's good, and that'll. Um, I forget what it's called, but it's it's like an SRS system. I forget what SRS stands for, but it's it basically means that based on how good you you say that you understand the word, it won't show you that word um, for a while. Based on how many like phrases you have in your thing. Right now, I'm at like maybe ten. 10 words, phrase, mix, combos. And that's the other thing. I'm going to keep them in, like, combos. Like, so I'm, I'm kind of thrown off by it. Like, I could get a word. I could get phrases. I just want to be completely, like, fucking fucked in the face with, with stuff. Okay, uh, so you speak is, uh, um, habla. Si, easy. Uh, uh, I don't understand. No entiende. Or, no, no entiendo. No entiendo. Shit, I just dropped something out of my... What is this? I don't know. Uh, but no entiendo. We're going to say good, because I struggled a little bit. Are you? Um, es usted? Es usted? Good. You understand. Uh, entienda. Good. Uh, North American. Um, so when you're... Like, instead of... Because, I guess... Well, in Spanish, there's no differential between, like, saying I'm American, and you can be, like, Central American, North American, South American, whatever. So, um, when you're going to say I'm American, I would probably just be like, uh, 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 soy, de, soy de Estados Unidos, uh, soy de Estados Unidos, um, uh, but yeah, uh, uh, North American, uh, Norte Americano. Good. Um, so I failed zero. I got um, zero. Were hard. Yeah. So I'm at like a, a 77 C for my. Uh, That's good. Oh shit! We're getting another one. Un poco. That's a little. Oh, a little. Un poco. I guess. That was easy. Are you? Uh, es usted. Yeah. Es usted. Um, ¿Es usted bien? Good. I'm just going to say that's good still. Uh, you understand. Entienda. Good. Entiende. No, entiende. No, entienda. Entiende. Entiende. Um, usted, eh, ustedes. Ustedes. Good. Uh, hablo. Hablo. Good. Oh, I don't... That was easy. Uh, sir, señor. Señor, easy. Uh, no entiendo. Good. Norteamericano, easy. Uh, eh, 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 entiende? Entiende? Good. Someone is crying. Cats are crying. Inglés, easy. It's getting better, it's getting better. So what do we have? Let's see. Um, oh, okay. So I have fourteen cards in my in my my deck for my Pimsleur post lesson deck. That's fun, and I'm I'm kind of looking forward to when I do lessons in the car and I'm not able to um, to have written them down. So I actually have to go fully by. Uh, recollection that's gonna force me to really be focused on it because I am gonna try to do a lesson in the car maybe not today maybe not today because I right now I'm working on I'm just listening to music I'm trying to find music that I enjoy um, more specifically artists I want to find my favorite um, uh, Spanish artist so that's kind of um, a little mission that I'm going on right now uh, anyways, 
that's going to be it for today. Uh, talking about what I'm trying to do here. Um, I guess we'll we'll talk about more in, in the future. But uh, okay. Uh, adios. Buenas noches. Uh, hasta nunca.